Hi everyone, it's Steph here from feancards.blogspot.co.uk I'm just back today to share with you another project of mine and this is what it looks like, it's a lovely little hexagon box with an acetate front window and inside we have an oil burner and it's got a candle and it's also got the little oil there as well I got this out of the pen shop but I didn't like the box that it came in so I decided to go ahead and make my own. On this I've used Whisper White cardstock and Berry Burst cardstock and this paper is from I think it's the Colour Theory DSP and this comes in a 6x6 um, and I'll show you some of those papers. So here we are on one side it's got this crackle effect and it's gorgeous really nice and then on the other side it's like a sort of an ombre like a, a paint swatch um, and then there is a find one a gradual ombre as well and you get 48 sheets of this in the pack and it's just beautiful like I said I went for the crackle one um, on that project so what we'll do is we'll pop everything to one side and I'll get on showing you what you need to make it. So for the base, I've got some Knight of Navy cardstock here. And this needs to measure 10 inches by 5 and 3 eighths of an inch. On the long, long side, you need to score it at 1 and 5 eighths, 3 and a quarter, 4 and 7 eighths, 6 and a half, 8 and 1 eighth and 9 and 3 quarters. And then on the short side, you want to score it at 1 and 3 quarters. So you'll just go ahead and burnish all of these score lines. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll cut away the bits we need before we attach our DSP. So this skinny section here, we need to remove this completely. And just slightly wedge in there and I just like to take a tiny little bit off the top then all of these score lines on the smaller section you just want to cut straight up them to the score line Just like that so you've separated all these tabs at the bottom now what we're going to do we're going to I'll use the DSP pack that I've used and this is another new one from the catalog and this is the naturally eclectic DSP and it, oh, it's beautiful I love this I've received this in my order the other day lovely bright colors and it's all double-sided as well and then we have one with all these pretty little gems on and that one will be perfect for you know just like a nighttime sky or anything like that it's absolutely beautiful that's a little bit of scrap I've used then we have this one here and with the stripes on the back and the flowers and you, these all this is like a, a range in the catalogue of suite um, you can get the stamp set and the dies as well in a bundle and I just love this I just think it's absolutely stunning oops, just knocked the camera right so we'll just move that back to one side and I've gone for the gem paper and what I've done, I've cut, you need six of these and these need to measure three and a half by one and a half and they're just going to layer on just like that Okay, so let's get my Tombow and put these on. And just line them up as best as you can. Do a little bit of excess glue there.
just love this paper. I think it's so nice. And if you're not a fan of all of like the, the block patterns, you know, quite busy patterns, then most of them on the on the reverse are quite muted compared to the designs on the front. and there we go now what we want to do is we want to cut the the front out um for the window and for that i am using the layering oval layering oval framelits even and the one i've used is this one here which was here and also what i went ahead previously and done was i've cut a frame out as well of the knight of navy and i've just used these two layering eyes like that and then I've also using these went out and cut a big oval oh, I don't know if you can see that there um, and this one was using this biggest one here to just go on the inside so I'm gonna pause you as well I run that through the big shot and then I'll be right back right I'm back now and this here is just the bit that I've cut out there you could use that for something else if you wanted to, um, but bear in mind it has got the score lines on. Now what we want to do is you just want to put some tape or some fuse down here. Just use fuse, there's quite a skinny little section. So we'll just fold that back on itself like that. You don't want it to stick with anything. And then just fold that over and these should meet up quite nicely and there we go this is the basis oh actually I've done something wrong don't do like I did <laughs> I need to put the acetate on first so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bit more fuse I'm just going to put it around the side I've done this quite a bit bigger um, so it shouldn't show. I did use glue dots for my original one, um, but it didn't seem to hold it as well. So what you do is you just line that up and then just stick that down. Like that. Just give it a little, you might need to just give it a little bit of a, a little bend. And then we can go ahead, I'll put some more fuse on here in case that's... I do I caught that before, it's stuck completely. So now we go and just fold it over like that. And that is our acetate window. Just put a little bit of a little bend in there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back in our little tea light thing and I'm just going to pop that over like that because it helps me when I'm lining it up so what you want to do is you want to match the opposite sides up like that so that will stick and it'll give us a nice hexagon shape as well first one is the worst one so it's trying to keep that in place while the, the glue sets you could actually use tear and tape or fast fuse and um, but I always forget which side it's got to go on so that's why I don't use that so once that starts to knit together just put a bit more Tombow on here put that one down and then line them two up as well don't worry if it pushes in a little bit we can we can fix that just make sure that it's all sitting together nicely and put 
this one on. And then the last one, you just want to put paint your tombow on and line that up. And what I do is I just take that off and then get my bone folder and just, oh, it's gone out of shape. Second, I'll just take them off and do them again. A bit more glue on. I'm having a very good day today with my videos, am I? If you stick it through to the end, I'll be well impressed. Right, there we go. There's the front of my box again. So then it was this one that go down. Things quite messy, but it's okay. It will all be hidden when we put this last flap on. There we go. It's a bit glue in there, but it'll be okay. And then this should fit in. And I see like that and we'll just pop that to one side and we'll get on and do the lid and hopefully we don't have as much drama with that right this piece of Knight of Navy measures ten and a quarter by two and a quarter on the long side you want to score it at one and three quarters three and three eighths five six and five eighths eight and a quarter and nine and seven eighths and then you want to turned on the short side and scored at one and three quarters so we're just going to fold and burnish all of our score lines just two more just like that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fuse on before cut it just because it's easy to get it on that little tab here so this longer skinny rectangle we need to cut that away just up to that first score line slightly mitre that in stick that on there and then these score lines you just want to cut straight up to that score line So then it would look like that and then you just line that up and as with the I just want to put that on here like that and then this is it does help using the box you might have to fiddle with it at first just tell the cardstock where you want it to go it does go on you just need to Tell it who's boss. That's what you need to do. Right. So that's on like that. Then again, with what we've done with the the lid, you just want to get some. This first one, I might put some fuse on actually, and it will help keep that in place straight away. Yeah, that's what I should have done in the beginning, really. And then we're just going to put some tumble on here and just line that one and small on this second side. Just make sure that lines up nicely. Give you a nice hexagon shape. And then again on these ones as well. Just 
and that is our lid. Glue in the lid, just get rid of that. Might need to just move it around, but it does. Once you put it on and off a couple of times, it will actually be okay. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to cover all the workings here. And what I've done is I've already went ahead and cut this out and I've used one of the, the scallop circles and a, a straight edged one just from our layering circles and I've just glued them on together and I'm just going to, I'm going to pop it on, I'm going to pop it on dimensionals this one. I didn't look the other one but this one I will. So just put some dimensionals on here. Oops. No more. That one's to stick it off somewhere, I think. Yeah, that's better. And then this is just going to sit on the middle, just like that. And all of our whoops out the way. And there we have our hexagon box with an acetate front holding a little oil burner. Oh, and I'm forgetting to put the, I'm forgetting to put this bit on. I'm not having a very good day today with uh, my projects. I'm going to leave that off because I think it will be a bit awkward putting it on while it's folded. But I hope you've enjoyed my car crash of a video and you haven't minded it too much. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.